Dilation is an analog imperfection, a result of trying to shoot with film as a medium. So when trying to emulate a film effect, it's necessary to create halation correctly. Welcome to Colorist Factory. In this video, we'll learn a quick method to properly composite the halation effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive into it. We have our beautiful footage here. This footage is licensed from ArtGrid, a story-based footage licensing platform that allows you access to raw and log files. If you are a creative director, filmmaker, or colorist trying to fill in the creative blanks in your projects, make sure to check out ArtGrid, links in the description. We're going to go to the Media tab, and we're going to click on the grain layer. We're going to add it to our media pool. These digitally remastered grain layers are a part of our 2021 Colorist Toolkit. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a node before our DI layers. And we're gonna add a layer mixer to that node. And we'll add a mat to our first layer. We'll select the grain layer from the media pool and connect grain output to our layer RGB input. We're going to set blend mode as overlay Turn off our printer lights and other nodes. In case you want to strengthen your grain texture, we can double up opacity to 1.5 and even add contrast. This way, you can have more pronounced grain texture. Now, let's add our halation node. Let's add four nodes in total, a layer node and a normal node. Let's create a compound node. Let's rename this compound node as Halation. Let's open the compound node. In the first node, we're going to add Color Space Transform. And since this is a Blackmagic 4.6 camera footage, we're going to select Gamma as BMD 4.6K. And we're going to select Output as Linear. And that's because Halation works best in linear color space. At the very last node, we're going to add the input gamma as linear and the output as BMD 4.6K. The first node and the last node are canceling each other out. And as far as the layer mixer is concerned, we're going to select the blend mode as add. We'll go to the curves and we're going to bend the curves to adjust the halation brightness. As you can see, it has started affecting the upper end of our highlights. I'm gonna add another node. And we are going to separate the colors by only blurring the red channel. Now, if you're not able to see this, go ahead and just scroll to any of the edges of the bright areas and you'll be able to see an effect. A very fine red scatter. Our usual composition for halation is 0.75 of red, 0.65 of green, and 0.55 of blue. This might not be halation in its true measured form, but the effect that we have created is pretty similar. Let's exit the compound node. We're going to go ahead and enable everything. If you look closer at the ear towards the edges, you can see the red scatter. Let's enable our LUT layer. It has the Wild West LUT from our 2021 UC Toolkit 2.0. You can download the LUT from our website. We have provided the links in the description. The final note is the balancing note, which is balancing out all the blacks. You can find a download of this power grade in the description as well. You can go ahead and download this 
and you can apply your own grain and LUD to the process along with the halation preset. And that's how you emulate the proper halation effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you are interested in learning color grading from ground zero, we have our color training modules waiting to be released towards the beginning of next month. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon and follow us on Instagram to stay updated.